Hey y'all, welcome to my butterfly garden. I had the best weekend and I did so many things and I have so much I wanna share with you. First, I released this gorgeous Eastern Black Swallowtail and I'm standing in the Maypop Mansion because in here all around behind me, inside the Maypop Mansion, are all of my host plants for Eastern Black Swallowtails. Parsley, fennel, dill, it's literally surrounding me in here. And now that I know that the overwinters are starting to eclose, overwinter means that the butterfly stayed in its chrysalis through the winter season, kind of like hibernating, and then it eclosis in the spring. A lot of the swallowtails do this, as opposed to migrating like the monarchs where they just fly to a warmer location. So I am super excited to be checking my plants for eggs now and hopefully within a few weeks I will be raising some Eastern Black Swallowtail caterpillars and I'll be sharing it with you. Next, while we're talking about the Maypop Mansion, um, the roof was starting to get heavy with all the maypup on top and it was sagging in in the middle. So uh, let me show you what I did to reinforce that. So there's probably something way better I could have done, but this was free and I already had all this stuff. I like free. This is a trellis piece and I laid it up here and hooked the feet on the edge of the beam back here and then I rested the top edge on the center beam but the problem is is they rested too heavily on this and this whole beam sagged down so then I had to come up with another plan I like the width of the trellis and it does a good job giving lots of support to the maypop that's going to be growing up here above. So then I added a shepherd's hook and you can see the top of the shepherd's hook curves right in between two of the, um, I don't know, rectangles openings <laughs> in the trellis and it just holds the whole thing up. So it's now not even touching the center beam but the center beam is there. This one is barely resting on it. See, it's not putting any pressure on it. And it's got its own shepherd's hook holding it up. And then I hung my rusty owl wind chimes on this one. I love wind chimes, y'all. I love them. Isn't he a cute rusty owl? So I really like how that's added support and I love the look of being in here, especially <laughs> look at all of my plants. Let's do a, a look once again, because I know y'all know those Eastern Black Swallowtails, uh, they will eat this all down, but it's so pretty in here and the way the sunlight comes in filtered through the maypop growing above. It's just so pretty. I love it. So last Saturday, my husband was going out to run some errands and I said, hey, go buy the nectary. Just get like six more swamp milkweed plants for me. And so of course he did. And you know what I've been doing with them? I bring them down here in my swamp milkweed patch and um, I pluck off all the big munchers that look like they're really close to pupating and I just plop them in the pot and I carry the pot inside and put it in the lepidarium and that way they're not like eating everything down out here and they are able to pupate safely. I literally have five potted 
plants in here. But each plant only has one. Actually, some, some of them have no monarch caterpillars. But each of them have maybe one or two. And they're just finishing out their last big eating session before joining all these guys. And I'm going to be seeing this one real soon. And here are the baby zebra longwing caterpillars from the eggs I brought in, I think at the end of the last video. And I posted a picture of them on my community page on YouTube also. So there they are. Another most fabulous thing that I did in my butterfly garden over the weekend is I released these guys and they were gorgeous. And it's cool today because we had a cold front come through again. It's the end of March. Come on. But it's only like in the 60s. But I think as it warms up a little later, they'll come out. So maybe I'll get to show you some of them. But they have been visiting my garden and it's, it's so lovely to see. Okay, so you know how much I love this little pop-up seedling trays? <laughs> well, Burpee has one that has 36 little pop-up seedling spots, pop-up spots. <laughs> so I, I have a lot of them now, but I use them for zinnias. And um, over the weekend, I planted um, a whole tray full of zinnias and more pots in my garden. And I have some more ready to go I want to show you. And um, I absolutely love those trays. So I'll link them below in the... What I started doing with my Amazon affiliate links is I'll put in the description, I'll put a little heading that says in this video. And that way you don't have to scroll through the whole list of everything, all of my Amazon links. You can just immediately find the ones that were in this video. So I hope you like that and thank you for using my links. Here's one of the trays right here and it comes with the, the base and the little, um, you know, pop-up section and then you can just keep them. You can see I have these guys soaking in water. I just watered them and it doesn't have a, a top dome or anything. And look, I literally just planted this yesterday and look who's already coming up. I mean, that's incredible, but it's the only one. It wanted to be first. <laughs> you can see, you can see there's one sprouting though. So, um, one of you guys asked when I start my zinnia seeds. So I started my zinnia seeds in February and they grow really fast. So now I can bring them out and plant them in my garden. Our last freeze date here, which I was zone 9B, but now I'm 10A. And I'm not sure um, the last freeze date for 10A, but 9B was February 28th. So after that, you know, they're going out in the garden. But the also, the also, the also thing I do <laughs> is um, I keep seed, seed starting through the season. And that's one of the mistakes I made in my first season um, when my zinnias died out, because they're annuals, they don't live forever, I didn't have more to put in. So now I've got my backup replacement uh, zinnias started and I'm just gonna keep starting more and more and more. Like each month, I'll start more next month and I'll start more next month. As long as they'll keep growing, I'll keep starting them. And then I always have more little pop-up plugs to put in my garden. And I'll show you what I mean, the pop-up plugs, in case you missed that video. Hang on, let me go grab one. Okay, here's another little one of those trays. And I'm going to pull it out. Look at all the roots. I'm just going to pull it to the edge because I'm doing this one-handed. You literally just push up on the base and the whole plug, I'm doing this one-handed, comes out and look I've got a little plug of a zinnia. Is that not fabulous? I I I love these pop-up things. I couldn't love them more. Burpee should sponsor me. Yes they should but they aren't. But let me tell you about that. 
So you know how I have my Amazon affiliate links where um, if you use my link to put something in your cart and anything else you put in your cart, which I don't know what it is, but I get a percentage of that, a small, like 3%, it's not, it's not huge. It depends on the items, but anyway. And my Joyful Butterfly affiliate link. But there's this other thing YouTubers can get called sponsorships, where a brand will pay you to make like a little advertisement for them or their product on your video, which, you know, no, nobody wants to sponsor me yet, but one day, one day maybe. So like one day you might be watching my video and I might pause and go, oh, this video is sponsored by, and then I'll start telling you. And y'all, that'll be something else. And don't worry, I'm not gonna be like crazy. It's gonna be things that I love or things that um, they've sent me to try and I fell in love with. It'll be stuff like that. <laughs> Listen to me, like it will be, cause it's going to happen. <laughs> anyway, you can find the link to this little burpee tray um, down in, the, in this video links. I think I already said that. Okay, so enough about butterflies and gardening and zinnias and flowers and all the things. Let's talk about me. Y'all, it's my first day. I am officially retired from teaching. I literally got up this morning, walked out in my garden and jumped up and down and squealed like a, like a young child. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy and I am so excited to be a full-time social media influencer, YouTuber, content creator, plant grower, butterfly gardener, you name it. I'm thrilled and I'm thrilled to be hanging out with you and I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's the red trash can. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, tap the like button. Go ahead. It's right down there somewhere. <laughs> if you want to contribute $5 a month to support my channel, then join the Milkweed Crew. Uh, information about that is pinned in the first comment below. And um, where else is it? It's in the description. And um, my crew is growing. So thank you, those of you who recently joined. I'm so glad to have you. Oh, and something else. All right, for those of you in the crew. I told you I was putting season three, the playlist in there. Well, for some reason, I can't like upload a playlist to the Milkweed crew, but I can put all the individual videos there. So what I am doing is I'm going through them all. There's like 98 videos in season three and I'm renaming them and I'll have like season three, episode one, season three, episode two. So that way, if you want to watch them in order, all the information will be there for you. So you'll be able to tell which one is which. And then eventually I'll do that for season two and then even better season one. So if that's not a reason to join the milkweed crew, then, you know, helping me buy one milkweed plant a month, it is. And thank you. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go edit this one and it's going to upload and you're going to be watching it tonight or tomorrow or the next day if you don't have your notifications turned on or you don't have time. Any day, any day will do. It's fine. All right. Bye.